Hello, welcome to the Under the Influence video blog episode 3 where you find me outside on this cold evening outside the Servant Jazz Quarters in Dalston on Bradbury Street. I uh, haven't been here before which is quite a shock considering the amount of accidents I've had here in the past. It opened in 2008, some of the accidents I've had already uh, have been car seat headrest. Michael Chapman, uh, Stephen James Adams, Joe Gideon and the wave pitchers are named but a few. Uh, this evening very lucky and fortunate to have uh, Pistols at Dawn who are having their record launch uh, being supported by Blind Atlas. As you may see, I'm in the company of three of the uh, Pistols at Dawn. Um, after the gig, so you can imagine the behaviour that I'm going to receive when I start asking questions. <laughs> I can't imagine why I did it before. I did, what a stupid idea to leave it to you afterwards. Anyway guys, how you doing? Good. Yeah? Good. 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 So, you've just played your first gig since you released your album, is that correct? That is right, yeah. First gig for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> How did it go? Personally. That's a question for you. <laughs> I personally found it excellent. I think I thought you guys were really good, really, really tight, because it's, it's quite a well-produced album to, and to recreate the sounds that you got on that album live. I thought um, you'd done a really good job of it. It helped to have the guy who recorded it. As with the album, like a lot of the credit goes to Toby. Uh, tonight might yeah. go as well. Yeah, so so, we were, we yes. were playing live. It was just, <laughs> we just played the album. So tell us about the producer you worked with, actually. Uh, Toby McLaren. He uh, plays uh, the band Led Bip, I don't know if you know. Um, he's just a bit of a maestro. He, he's, he, he's been the, the awesome thing to come out of this whole. To work with a guy like that has been has been the best experience of this album. Uh, it's been a, like it's been very cool with Toby, like to be able to go. Like when we were recording this, we basically went, okay, on well, this track, we could do like a bit that goes like, and and it's it, it, it sounds like a really stupid thing, but like someone who can actually go like, oh yeah, I know what you mean, and turn that into a thing that they you know you can press a key and make it happen. Toby was able to do that in a way that was really sort of uh, eye-opening for us. So we got, this album was able to turn into a, like a a thing that had lots of cool electronics and stuff. And um, yeah, so as, as Dave says. Oh yeah, this is your new album, See You Home, by the way, isn't it? Which uh, you you released in November last year. Yeah. Um, we, he yeah. he had our trust completely. Yeah. Like we we recorded it and then gave it to him to produce and like in my line of day job like. But that, I mean, Dave so, took it from so, him regularly. There's, there's, there's so much feedback, but with, with us and him, what he was giving back to us, there was very little feedback. He just fucking nailed it. Yeah. Can I say fucking? Yes, you did. But that's fine. It's all right. I'll put an R rating on this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the thing that Jim said earlier on about we all have different what ways of saying stuff. I don't give a shit what you say. <laughs> <laughs> um, the way that you can say, you can talk to Toby in your own language and he'll just pick out ways you're yeah. trying to achieve. So Jim will go, I want it, oh, I've just heard this weebly thing. <clears throat> and go, uh, and then Toby will find the exact noise on some weird piece of synthesizer, synthesizer kit that none of us could ever have come up with in a hundred years and then just stick it on the album and then overlay everything else that he overlayed. Like he stuck um, cellos on it, he put, synth, uh, he put synth on it, he put, um, he put, he put like sacks on some of the outfit. He, he, right. yeah. he, right. he just got it right time yeah. and time again. It's a clever boy. Things, yeah. and he, he even took some of the songs and chopped them up and from the way we recorded them and, and just gave them back to us as like here's but that's your, what we played tonight it's, it's like here's your album track we almost played like, oh. we played like Toby's vision of it's, our it's, original song it's, it's one of the tracks where it's like <laughs> I had a tiny little guitar part that was so basic and so hidden behind everything and that was the whole point <laughs> <laughs> and it's he made it the, the, he made it the song intro song. to the track <laughs> So I had to stand on stage and play the scene <laughs> on my own and leave it was like Did you, was, there, was, was there an aim before you went in the studio of what you wanted, that you wanted to do something there, different? There's one thing that Toby did which is basically said you have to get, you have to do everything, Toby and Ped actually to their credit, they said get everything you can do 
done in the bubble. So basically you have four days, you create the kind of core of the tracks, and then everything you overlay on top has has the right vibe because the, the middle of the tracks have the right vibe. Yeah. And that's what they got, is they got the bubble right. And so we went disappeared into this place in the middle of nowhere, old 16th century farmhouse, nailed the sound, and then everything you layer on top has that vibe about it because you've captured the, the kind of the feel of the of the album at that point. So I think Toby and Ped nailed that, and then after that, Toby just kind of kept on pushing us to go, come over and record this, come yeah. and record that, come and bring you all, like I turned up with one tom and a pair of drums and just smashed the hell out of it for half a day, and that was that was one of the bits on my track, you know, so all of that layering is what makes it sound amazing. I'm going to leave these guys to continue <laughs> chatting right now. Um, Thank you for a great gig, guys. Yeah, thank thank you. you for. Uh, I can answer your question. Yes. Thank you for being here. We're going to go to Kilburn. Yes. Thank you very much, Kilburn. Thank you very much. Uh, 24th of February. Okay. We're going to go to Leeds. Yeah. Ideally to Bristol. We're going to get a few more gigs around London. So we're probably going to do good. a handful across good. the year. Good. You were great so, tonight, guys, and it um, sounded okay. fabulous. Yeah, so uh, good luck to you and oh. hopefully more records in the future. Yeah, yeah, Take definitely. care. Nice one. Cheers, dude.